Hey guys, this is Sebastian here. Welcome to another segment of Building Your Wealth in Under 5 Minutes. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between what a Roth IRA and the famous Roth IRA and what a traditional IRA and how it works. Now before we go ahead and get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're watching us right now on YouTube. If you're on Facebook or Instagram, just don't forget to leave some comments there and share this video with your friends and family. Again, I think we all understand that the more knowledge that we have in the area of money and finance, finance. We'll be able to make a bigger impact with the people and the families around us. And again, just share this with your friends and family. The more knowledge they have, they will be able to make better decisions with their money. Let's jump right in. All right, so let's jump right into what is an IRA. You see, an IRA stands for an individual retirement account. That's the pretty much the abbreviation of, a, of what an IRA is. Now, let's say that right now, hypothetically, you and your spouse make right now $100,000 a year, and that is your gross income. Now, from that, they take away taxes, they take away insurance, they take away all these different things. Good, huh? And let's say that you're left with a net income of, let's just call it $75,000. So you see, what ends up happening is, you can go right now and you can establish what's called a traditional IRA. So you go and set this account up. Let's just draw a little bucket here as the as the account. And you can go and grab out of your money, out of your savings account, you can go and put and deposit a certain amount into this account. Now there is a limit, this is really important for you to know, is that there is a limit of no more than $6,000 per year is the maximum that you are allowed to contribute into a traditional IRA. Now, if you are over the age of 50, there is a special law where the IRS actually allows you to put in $7,000 per year into that account. So again, if you're under the age of 50, it's 6,000 a year. If you're over the age of 50, you are allowed to put in up to $7,000 a year. So let's say that you right now are in your 40s and you wanna go and put in $6,000 into your traditional IRA. When you go and put these $6,000 at the end of the year, when you go and file your taxes, the beautiful thing about a traditional IRA is that all of the money that you put in there, you can write it off off of your income tax. What? So in other words, when you file your taxes, you don't end up reporting a hundred thousand in income. You get to write off off of your income those six thousand dollars that you put inside your traditional IRA. So, in other words, what's the benefit of that? Any money that you put into a traditional IRA, you can write it off off of your income tax. So, if you made eighty thousand a year and that year you put in six thousand into your traditional IRA then that means you don't report 80,000 that year. You now report 74,000 and now you pay taxes on the 74,000. Now this is the drawback, is all of the money that goes into that IRA, so let's just draw right here IRA, that money normally is invested. So in other words, those $6,000 are going to grow over time and let's say you put in $6,000 and those 6,000 after 20, 30 years of it growing, it's now worth $20,000. So you have made 14,000. Now when you go and pull out that money in about 20 years, or you go and withdraw that money, the amount that you take out of that traditional IRA, you will need to pay taxes on that money. So in other words, the benefit of an IRA is that all of the money that you put into it this year, you can write it off your income tax this year. But in 20 years, in 30 years, whenever you go and withdraw the money, you will need to pay taxes at whatever the tax rate is at that point in time. So what is the famous Roth IRA? So let's use the same exact example. You go and you want to go and set up a, a Roth IRA. So you make 100000 a year, you go and set up your Roth IRA, and it's the same rule. It also has the same $6,000 annual limit, 7000 if you're above the age of 50. But now you go and put in $6,000 into that Roth IRA. Now the negative of the Roth IRA is when you put in money, you don't get the write-off that the IRA provides you when you open up a traditional IRA. But now this is the benefit behind it. You put in the $6,000, and let's say that we did the same exact example. You put in the $6,000, and it begins to grow, it grows, it grows, and 20 years later, those $6,000 have now also turned into 20,000. 
So you put in 6,000, you made $14,000. Well, you see, this is the beautiful thing about the Roth IRA. When you go and withdraw the money 20 years, 30 years into the future, all of the money that you go out and withdraw is entirely tax free. <laughs> so the main key benefit of a Roth IRA is you put in money now, you don't get a write-off like an IRA does. An IRA gives you the write-off this year, but the IRA later on, when you go and take out the money 20 or 30 years into the future, you will need to pay taxes when you withdraw the money. In the case of the Roth IRA, you put in the 6,000 right now, you don't get the write-off off your income tax now, but 20 years in the future, 30 years in the future, when you withdraw the money, all of the money that you take out 20, 30 years down the line is entirely tax-free. Now, one final point I wanna wrap up with. You need to understand that there's this very important age called the age of 59 and a half. If you go and touch these retirement accounts prior to age 59 and a half, the IRS will hit you with a penalty for touching the money before then. That's a completely separate video that we explain more about how those penalties work. But remember, if you're putting money into a Roth IRA or you're putting money into a traditional IRA, have the mindset that the money that's going in there is for long term. The money that's going in there is not that you put it in when you're 30 years old and when you're 34 years old, you're going to go and take out that money. Do not have that mindset because again, you will end up paying penalties if you take it out too early.